Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Now, in today's video, I wanted to cover um two things. One will be best RP farming uh, techniques and how I manage to get millions every day uh, to the point where you really won't ever run out um, and easily be able to get all of the blueprints in about a day. And we're also going to cover a clickless Drayden's Gauntlet um, thing. So let's get into it. So first, you want to start placing thingamajigs down on your base. Do as many as you can. Um, They don't have to be perfect like this, but it's just better to space them out in a neat uh, fashion. So you could eventually not use up all your space completely with mines. Um, this also depends on how much lag you have, by the way, so I'll be explaining how to balance that out, because it can be a little harder if you lag too much, but it can also um, be balanced out to the point where you can manage how much you're lagging, and I'll teach you guys how to do stuff like that. So, um, it's really not too hard to do, either. It's really easy to learn to manage your lag, so I'll be explaining stuff like that very shortly. Alright, so once you got your thingamajigs down, what you could do is you can get your breach loaders. If you don't have enough breach loaders, you could always switch to Atomium. They are both very good for this. You're going to place three of them on one of these. Now eventually it'll get to the point where you are constantly getting tens. Um, I know it's not as good as Eternal Journey used to be, giving instant 500s to thousands, but it still works really, really efficiently if you have enough breach loaders. Um, if you don't, it's really easy to get them. It just takes a little bit of uh, grinding. If you played in the past, you'll most likely be able to do this. Um, I think they were a little less common now than they used to be, but they are still extremely good for RP farming. Because look at that batch I just got right there. That was insane. Um, this is easily hundreds a second. You don't even have to fill your entire base. You just have to get as much down as uh, you think is reasonable. And, um... And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory from here on out. But to manage your lag, all you have to do is adjust your settings. Um, really, graphics quality, particles. Uh, lag is minimal as possible also don't fill up your ore limit if you fill up your ore limit that's really what gets in the way here because you know you do need um something i call ore taxing and that's pretty much where if your ore limit fills up or stop dropping meaning if you just have a consistent uh if you just have a consistent rate for your ore is dropping because I don't know if you notice right there, all the ore stops dropping because they were all sitting in the furnace and getting ready to give you a crap ton of RP. Well, that's what happens. And if they all sit up there or just keep sitting there because your ore limit is filled, it can last like 10 seconds sometimes. And your ores will not drop and you're missing out on an insane amount of RP. It's best you just keep a consistent rate. Do it like this and you could probably AFK for like 16 hours and come back with like 20 to 30 million minimum uh it just depends on how many ores go in uh you know your rate of everything but otherwise it should be pretty easy it's really not too hard to do all right now for the drayden's gauntlet thing everyone's been asking me for um so this is really really good for uh for things like scent um if you don't want to use an ore gate after Drayden's Gauntlet, you could always just use um, 
this technique. It's really simple, and you can also do some really unique stuff with it, and I'd love to see what you guys have in mind for this, so please feel free to suggest anything. Um, I'd love to do shoutouts and stuff like that, too, for the best ones, so give me any ideas you guys have. But right now, I'm going to get some unstable uh, hydraulics, and I'm also going to get some hydraulic ramps, hydraulic conveyors, and hydraulic center. You will need all of these. As well as a few hydraulic uh, duality uh, refiners. And free falls. Let's get started. Alrighty, boys. So now you're going to take a ramp up. Put it right here another one right here just like that it's pretty easy to do you're gonna take your centering conveyors just like this Just like this, it's super easy to do. Then, um, if you'd like, you could even do something as unique as this. Um, you could simply just take your uh duality, both of those, just like that. And then you could do you could even add on to it and make make a make a like a left turn or a right turn depending on which way it goes. You could do really anything uh you wish with this. You could just build off of it and make some really unique things, and I highly suggest you guys experiment experiment with this. Now, I don't exactly remember the height for it, but as far as I remember, it's really, really easy to do. Um, or to check, all you do is you just get a basic iron mine, put an ore tracker, and then have it go into this. And then you have to see it hit 5k. Oh, wait, that was a wrong turn. So yeah, this works. Um, thankfully, this is the beam being hit, not the higher um, one. So it's not actually working, so it's not causing any issues with the setup. And your, this is an insanely good trick because your org goes just from 5k to 106k, and I think that's pretty good for just this short of a of a system. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and make sure to um, make sure to subscribe if you want. No need, no need to like, but anything is uh, is helpful. Peace out. Also, comment suggestions. I'll be pinning and favoriting my favorite ones. Uh, suggestions meaning suggestions for either videos or things you've experimented with. Experimented with this. Uh, I'd I'd love I'd love to see what you guys have in mind. But peace out.